lot of messages from people who are considering renovating an Airstream, but they're either not sure where to start or not sure where to look for one or not sure if they want to tackle the project. So I thought it would be a good idea to put together five things that I think are really important to consider before you start your Airstream renovation. So let's get started. Number one, time. Do you have the time? Renovating an Airstream can take anywhere from six months to a couple of years, depending on your skill level and your availability to work on it. For example, we bought our Airstream last September. We weren't able to work on it very much in the fall, but we were able to gut it, we did a few things, and then it wasn't until January that we were able to get back to the project for a few dedicated weeks. We took it down to Florida to see my parents, and we worked on it there. But it is very time consuming. It seems like everything takes twice or sometimes three or four or five or six or seven times as long as you thought it was going to take and so you've really got to know if you have the time it takes probably i would say if you had six total dedicated months of it being your full-time job you could get it done in six months but most people i see work on it anywhere from a year to two years so be prepared for that and if you were thinking you want to travel soon that might really hinder your decision because Obviously, you're not going to be able to travel in it until you get it past a certain point. And so you may not want to renovate one if you were looking to go camping pretty soon because it will take a while. The second thing to consider is cost. I would say that the average person is going to spend anywhere from $7,500 to $15,000 renovating their Airstream just in materials if you do most of the work yourself. You're going to have a lot of expenses that are big, such as air conditioner, axles, tires, windows if you have any broken windows, and of course materials for finishes like cabinetry and stuff like that that does cost a little bit more. Another thing to take into consideration with cost is that you're not using typical materials. So things that you would normally use to build a house, you may not be able to use to refinish an Airstream, so you might have to go a different route and sometimes that can be more expensive. Number three. Weigh the pros and cons of price versus condition. It's important to remember that just because you find an Airstream that's super, super affordable, it's not always a good thing. It may need more work. It may need a lot more work than you want to tackle. For example, we were not interested in having to tackle a frame off renovation. We did not want to have to do any welding or anything with the frame. And so we were willing to spend a little bit more to get a camper in better condition that we didn't have to take it that far back to do that much work to. The fourth thing to consider before tackling an Airstream remodel is skill level. It's very important to know and understand what you plan on your skill level being and how much you plan on doing yourself versus what you think you might have to hire out. Keep in mind it's going to be a lot harder to find electricians, plumbers, and handymen who will work in an Airstream since that's not what they do in their everyday schedule or life and it can be a little harder for them to bid out the job. It's going to require a vast array of tools and knowledge and a lot and lot of internet research. We have spent hours and hours on YouTube and Google and various forums figuring out things that we didn't know the answer to. So you want to be really cognizant of your skill level. Of course, I'm not suggesting that you shouldn't try to do it anyway. I know a lot of people pick it up as a bit of a hobby. They are excited for the challenge to learn how to do something new and different, and I think that that's great. Just remember to not get frustrated when it's taking a little bit longer than you planned because it probably will, and it is going to really be a learning curve because everything in here is curved. Get it? So the last thing you want to consider is the size. There's several different sizes of Airstreams and layouts. You're gonna wanna know if you're looking for something a little bit larger and roomier that can home a family or several people at one time, or if you're looking for something smaller and easier and more compact to travel with. Our first trailer here is a 31 foot trailer. And while we love how big it is and it provides tons of space, and if we were gonna live in it full time, this trailer would be perfect. However, we just plan on using ours for camping and traveling, and so we l realized quickly that this trailer was a little bit too big for us. So I wish I would have been willing to spend a little bit more money and do a little bit more research on the size and length of the trailer that we were gonna get before we bought it. For example, a lot of national parks only offer camping spots that are a certain length. So you wanna really consider how much you're gonna be traveling, how much you're gonna be moving from spot to spot, and make sure you look at several Airstreams to get a better idea of, do you want a rear bed? Do you want a rear bath? Are you looking for something with multiple sleeping arrangements? Because it's gonna be important. 
Well, there you have it. Hopefully I didn't sound like too much of a negative Nelly. I'm not telling you you shouldn't renovate an Airstream. There's just a lot to consider before you get going. It's a very stressful project, but it's super rewarding to see it finished in the end and taken on camping trips and know that you're the one that put all the hard work into making this the perfect Airstream.